Hi everyone, my name is Morag and I'm the English editor for People's Daily Online, which is an online newspaper based in Beijing, China. Literacy really comes into everything that I do in my job role. Half of my job is checking other writers' English before articles are published. So if something doesn't look right or the grammar structure is wrong, then I get in trouble. And the other half of my job is making little videos. So if I say something incorrect on camera or something sounds a little bit off, then I just look plain stupid. So it really comes into everything that I do. And without it, I wouldn't have the career that I do. And I wouldn't get to come to cool places like Shanghai at the weekend. Bye. I'm Adam Petman. I'm a business analyst with the Clydesdale Bank. That means that every day I go into work, I work with the business to try and work out what their problems are and how we're going to solve them. And then organize the people, the money and the things in order to make sure that happens. So it's very important that I write down the requirements of the business so that I can accurately pass them on to the people who are responsible for fixing them. Hi there, my name is Amy. I'm a voice and singing coach. Um, I would say I use my literacy skills in my work on a daily basis. Uh, they are a, an essential part of what I do. I work with young actors and I work with uh, singers of all ages and, um, and I spend a lot of time helping my students to interpret their text. So it doesn't matter if it's a song or lines from a play or a poem or a sonnet. Essentially, we have to understand what that means. Uh, we have to also um, work out what the writer or the author intended in the writing of those words and then to be able to convey them to an audience. So I would say that yeah, literacy skills alongside all the singing technique and voice technique stuff that I work with is right up there in importance. I actually couldn't do my job without them. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hey, I'm Ewan Lawrence. I'm an event DJ and presenter. Now, literacy is something that even applies to my job. I need to make sure I can make client phone calls, fill in documents, invoicing, apply insurance details. It does really affect, you know, even just being able to go out and play music to you wonderful people out there. Hi, my name's Kieran. I run my own football academy in Canada. Literacy plays a huge part in all aspects of my job. As a coach, I'm effectively a motivational speaker. And if I'm not able to get my points across confidently and in a clear and concise manner, then they won't have the same impact. Literacy is also hugely important in giving off a professional vibe when dealing with schools, parents and outside partners. Football coaching may not seem like a job where literacy uh, takes a big part of your day, but in actual fact it is. Hi everyone, my name is Danielle and I'm an environmental scientist. I use literacy on a daily basis in order to analyse data read and write reports and to communicate with clients and colleagues about the most sustainable ways in which to manage flood risk both now and in the future. Hey guys, I'm Kenny Mackay. I'm an athletic trainer at a sports performance facility. Uh, literacy is a major component or aspect to my job. Without it, like none of it would be possible. So like, for example, uh, reading. I read every day. I'm constantly reading to find out what the newest training techniques or methods are so that I can get, provide them for my clients. Um, writing, I always write uh, out instructions for my staff members and for my clients so that they know what they're expected to do that day. Speech is a major aspect as well. Like if I don't speak out and tell people what I expect of them, then they won't have any clue as, as of what to do. And most importantly, listening. You gotta be able to listen so that you can understand what you wanna provide for your client or your staff member. Hi kids, my name is Thea Cowan. Uh, my job title is European Judo Union Media Commissioner. So basically I work all over the world. I get to work with international athletes, all because of my literacy skills. Uh, I write articles, I do interviews with international athletes, and I absolutely love my job. And there is no way I would be doing it if my literacy skills weren't on point. You can do it. Anyone can do this job. You just have to believe in yourself and work hard. Good luck, kids.